हेलो गाय शुभमिया बैक अगेन विथ अनदर साउंड मॉड सो दिस टाइम दिस इज डॉल पे एट मस साउंड मॉड विच इज एक्सक्लूसिवली मेड फॉर एंड्रॉयड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन और ट्वेल्व एल लेट मी टेल यू गाइज देर आर सम एरर्स विद सम ऑफ द साउंड मॉड विच आर जस्ट मेड फॉर एंड्रॉयड ट्वेल्व एंड नॉट फॉर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन और ट्वेल्व एल सो दिस इज समथिंग विच एक्चुअली वर्क फॉर एंड्रॉयड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन और ट्वेल्व एल रॉम्स एंड डजेंट गिव एनी टाइप ऑफ एरर और फोर शट डाउन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स डीप डाइव इन टू इट एंड सी द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस टू गेट दिस अमेजिंग मॉड So at the very first time, this is our device running on Android 12 L. As you can see over here, around so and it's direct to. So for the first time, we need some files, and this time the files are not much. The only two files we need, that is the Magis and the Dolby Atmos file. So these are the three files. Make sure that you flash Magis mandatory, as this is important to get your Dolby successfully installed. The audio modification library is kind of optional so it's fine if you don't install it too. So moving further in my case I have already installed Magis. I recommend you to install the Magis which is of version of at least 23. I recommend you to flash the latest Magis version I will link down in description below. So moving on further As you know the drill over here you can see the module section click on that and click on install from storage navigate to the folder where you have stored all your files of your Dolby Atmos in my case i have kept in dedicated folder over here it's your choice if you have to flash the audio modification library or not i am not flashing it i am just clicking on this Dolby Atmos sound mod and let it flash let me tell you guys this takes some time So have some patience sit back and relax and once you can see the reboot button on the bottom right side it will be shown that your mod has been installed successfully till then don't do anything and let the mod get installed So as you can see our mod has been installed successfully and you can see all these details over here So once it gets installed you will see the reboot button You simply have to click on that reboot button and let your device gets booted. So fast forwarding, here our device is booted and you can see this logo of Dolby Atmos. So clicking on that, you will enter into this equalizer mode. Basically, there is a button on the top right corner. You just have to click that and you can enable or disable your Dolby Atmos for your music. So there is some more such as movie, music, dynamic and custom. From here you can select any of the type you want. Also you will get a detailed tutorial where they have demonstrated how you can use this sound mod for a quick reference. So all done with this tutorial. So now you can just switch to any of the sound mod you like such as dynamic. You can just switch on this bass enhancer to enhance the bass. as per your test and you can just customize this equalizers the way you want the eq is all yours you can have the sound quality of your choice and you will get purely refined sound which you don't get ordinarily using direct sound enhancer or any of the sound enhancer you get pre installed in the rom this is how easy you can install the dolby atmos sound mod just like i have shown you viper for android So that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates and mods upcoming until then see you guys again in the next one peace out